In this video, we will focus on drawing structures of alkenes. Alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons with carbon-carbon double bond. A double bond is formed by the sharing of two pairs of electrons between the two carbon atoms. That is why the first member of alkene has to have two carbons. A single carbon alkene can never exist. For alkene homologous series, the first member which has two carbons is ethene. The second member has three carbons, it is called propene. The fourth member has four carbons, it is butene. Now, how do we draw the structures of alkenes? When we show all the bonds between the atoms in a molecule, we are writing down the full structural formula of the organic compound. This is carbon in the periodic table. It has six electrons. It will use its four outermost electrons for bonding to achieve stable noble gas of electronic configuration. This is hydrogen in the periodic table. It has only one electron in its first shell. It needs one more electron to achieve stable noble gas duplet electronic configuration. The first member of alkene has two carbons and they share two pairs of electrons. An alkene must have a carbon-carbon double bond and they will use this functional group for chemical reactions. The carbon will then bond with four other hydrogens and now all the atoms have achieved stable noble gas electronic configuration. Carbon now has eight outermost electrons, while hydrogen has two outermost electrons. When we write the full structural formula, we do not need to draw the electron shell or draw dot and cross diagram to represent the electrons. When drawing the structure, we use a dash, which represents a bond between two sharing electrons in a covalent molecule. Hence, one bond means the sharing of two electrons. So now we replace each of the electron pair with a bond. Here you go, this is the structure of ethene. Next, we have propene. Propene has three carbons. Similarly, this alkene has carbon-carbon double bond. The third carbon forms a single bond with one of the carbons. The carbons will then fulfill the octet rule by using its remaining electrons to form bonds with hydrogen. This is the dot and cross diagram of propene. Let's replace each electron pair with a bond. There you go, we have achieved the structure of propene. What about butene? Butene has four carbons. This is the dot and cross diagram of butene. We draw the carbon-carbon double bond. Then the third and fourth carbon forms a single bond with the carbons. The carbons will then fulfill the octet rule by using its remaining electrons to form bonds with hydrogen. This is the dot and cross diagram of butene. Let's replace each electron pair with a bond. There you go, we have achieved the structure of butene. If we look at each of these alkenes, you should notice carbon always form four bonds while hydrogen always form one bond. When you are familiar with structure drawing of organic compounds, you should not need to depend on dot and cross diagram to achieve the full structural formula of organic compounds to save time. Practice more and you will be more confident in writing full structural formula of organic compound. If you find this video useful, do like the video and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more chemistry learning videos. Have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.